Hello family, this is Veronica again. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about preventing diabetic amputations. Yes, I know it's one of those topics that nobody wants to talk about, even myself, right? But we must talk about it because it is a reality that this could possibly happen to us, right? And we want to make sure that we're doing everything possible to not get an amputation in our body. The main thing that causes amputations is a small cut or bruise that can become a serious infection. You don't want to have this uh, uh, untreated because with if you have it untreated, it will get infected and you will have to possibly uh, have an amputation. Um, most amputations with, with people with diabetic with diabetes is that they have the lower uh, limb amputation. That means that maybe a toe, maybe a, a foot, or possibly even a leg. 80% of people with uh, diabetes experience some type of amputation uh, because of their blood sugar level and as a result of not eating what they're supposed to do uh, eat. The good news is that these uh, infections can be avoided, right? You want to make sure that you're doing everything that you need to do. You need to have the proper lifestyle change, right? You need to make sure that you're doing everything possible to make sure that you're eating healthy. Eating healthy, you're exercising, you're managing your sugar level, you're getting prompt checkups, and even if you need um, wound care, you're getting wound care therapy as soon as possible. You check your foot regularly every single day. Do not let a day go by without checking your foot. You want to make sure that your blood sugars are within a normal range. You can check with your doctor because it may vary. It depends on the person and what's going on with that person's particular body. So I don't want to say what a particular range may be because I know me personally, my doctors have gone from one range to the next range. It's like they're trying to get me to that next level. So um, I want to stress that you need to speak to, with your doctor about what is the normal range for you. Some of the things that we can do to be in the normal range is to be able to eat our leafy vegetables. That's our broccoli, our collard greens, our cauliflower, um, things of that sort, the green vegetables, right? You want to make sure you eat plenty of them, even string beans. String beans is a great source for people who are diabetics. Um, you want to make sure you're eating the whole greens and not the whites, right? You don't want to eat white rice. You want to eat the brown rice or either the wild rice is a good uh, choice. You want to make sure that you're eating the fruits, right? The fruits. You want to make sure you're eating the blueberries, the raspberry, the strawberries, the blackberries. You want to eat those type of fruits. You want to stay away from those starchy fruits like pineapple, watermelon. Um, what else? Pineapple, watermelon. You want to stay away from bananas. Oh, my God, bananas. Bananas are very good, and they do have some health benefits to it. But for us who are diabetics, you want to stay away from it. Um, some of the other foods that we want to stay away from is the white sugars, right? We want to stay from processed food, anything that's in a box, stay away from it. It is not healthy. You want to eat the whole foods, the whole foods. You want to be able to shop the grocery store only in the produce section. You only want to go in the produce section and maybe possibly back in the dairy sometimes to get eggs if you need to. Um... Or maybe the cheese strings, um, this is a good source of snacking, snacks that you can eat. Um, you definitely want to stay away from the white potatoes. You want to stay away from the white um, pastas. Anything of that that's, that's going to spike your blood sugars, you want to stay away from that. And then also I want to advocate um, eating Drinking water. Drink as much water as possible. You want to make sure that you drink enough water that you can flush out your kidneys on a daily basis. You want to be able to do that. Along with drinking the water, you want to uh, drink the leafy, uh, excuse me, the teas, right? You want to drink the teas, but you don't need the sugar. No sugar. And if you can do without the honey, do without the honey. 
you want to make sure that everything is uh, like it's supposed to be and your body is getting the best care possible. Um, I would like to say I wish you the best with your health. It's making those lifestyle changes is not easy, but it is doable. And um, we want to be here to cheer you on. And, you know, I need to encourage myself. And um, hopefully we all can beat this thing called diabetes. And we will stay away from the amputations and keep ourselves happy and healthy. Um, if you like this channel here, please, I ask that you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And please, if you find that it's anybody that is in your circle, that's in your family, your friends, that could benefit from this information, please share out. Please, I'm trying to grow my channel, and I would greatly appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.